broken glass, and broken dreams. As officials assess the extensive damage in downtown Napa after Northern California's biggest earthquake in 25 years. We lost uh, about 25% of our liquor and beer wine inventory yesterday. It's a big cleanup, big mess. Building inspectors red tagged dozens of structures deeming them unsafe, including the city's oldest commercial building built back in 1875 and a carport at an apartment complex where several vehicles were crushed when it collapsed. Utility crews worked all day to restore power while police patrolled downtown to prevent looting. A group of volunteers showed up at this art gallery unannounced to help clean up. Everything is a mess, the whole town, and you know that the whole group from Home Depot and other volunteers that just came in off the street to help us get all the glass off the floor, it's just, yeah, a little overwhelming. This gift shop was one of many to sustain water damage <laughs> when sprinkler systems and pipes burst during the 6.0 quake. Oh, I'm definitely going to recover. I'm stubborn, but I don't, I'm, I'm looking around me and I'm like last man standing and I don't know if all these buildings are going to have to come down. I don't know what's going to happen. Meanwhile, Napa's famed wine industry is facing losses in the millions as they cleaned up thousands of broken bottles and barrels. It's the worst damage sustained by our winery. It's also probably the most severe earthquake uh, that's happened to the Napa wine industry maybe in decades. A handful of residents whose homes are too damaged to live in are staying at local emergency shelters. Local officials are crediting the community's building codes and a little bit of luck with saving lives. Haven Daily, Associated Press, Napa, California.